I got a quick question, guys. Why does the white man hate me so much? And when I ask you that, I'm not just saying hate me as in Disco Sean 21, but I'm saying that hate me as the black man. You know, when I was growing up in Compton, I didn't really know what racism was because I was in Compton around amongst all black. But I'm going to take that back. Even when I first moved to Compton, because I was born in Long Beach and moved to Compton when I was probably like four, three or four, my whole neighborhood was white. And then black families started moving in, but even me being a black kid at that age, my friends, Janet and Adam, my best friends then, were white, and they moved out around five. So then, as I got a little older, more and more black families moved in, and when I went to school, I didn't know anything about racism whatsoever. I had Mexican kids went to my school, black kids, uh, white kids, and I, I don't think I had any Asian kids. But then as I got older, I finally realized what an Asian person was. I seen them, but I just didn't know. They were just people to me, just like now. And when I went to the military and I served two tours of duty in the, in the first Gulf War, we were brothers on the ship. It didn't matter what color you were or where you came from or your economic background and none of that stuff. We were just all fighting for one cause and that was to protect and keep America safe. But then after I got out of the military is when I really, really, really started experiencing racism as a black man. I went for a job one time and it was to become, uh, to work for this guy's company, uh, they, they killed termites. Called in the same day, spoke with them on the phone. And you guys see, I don't speak ghetto or slang or anything like that. Never have, but I can. And the job was open. But when I got there and they saw that I was black, that job was immediately filled. And then he looked at me, he's like, oh, we filled the position already. I said, I just talked to you on the phone. You filled the position today? Yes, yeah, filled. <laughs> and he laughed. And I go, <laughs> Okay, thank you, sir. And I just walked out. So I, I think uh, racism for me is like the most stupidest, ignorant thing ever on earth. And, and here's, here's the sad part. We're racist amongst our, against our own people, black people. I was at the Havana house in Alhambra where all my friends are Latin. Most of my friends are Latin. I have a few black friends, a few white friends here and there. A black female was there. I think they said she was from like LA Weekly or something like that. She walked around and asked everybody they want a beer. I guess it was a promotional thing. Even walked up to my buddy, did he want a beer? She walked right past me, looked at me like I was invisible. But I didn't want the stinky beer because it was a nasty beer anyway she was buying. And she was this black female, you know, just... It just tripped me out. I thought to myself, wow, we still have racism amongst our own people. So it's not just blacks. I mean, it's just not white, Latin, Asian that are racist against us. We hate ourselves. Black people hate black people. For what? I don't know. Oh, okay, then again, I do know. Because there are two classes of black people. And we all know. There's black people and there's niggas. Let's keep it 100. There's black people, there's ghetto people. Let's keep it 100. So, I think people that don't want to be considered a nigga tend to stay away from more ghetto urban or ghetto areas where there could tend to be problems and violence and blah, blah, blah. But violence and problems, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And it's just, and it's not just blacks. I don't want y'all to be sending me hate email talking about I'm disrespecting the black people. But my thing is, why does the white man hate me? And I broke it down to a whole nother level. It's not only the white man that hates me. It's me that hates me. I'm Disco Sean 21.